Queensland, we're famous for our summers, but also our cyclones. So let's get prepared. A cyclone watch has just been issued. This means that we can expect gale force winds within 48 hours. So let's start getting ready. Check your emergency plan and kit. Clean up your yard, secure any loose items, fuel up your car and check on your neighbors. We are now expecting gale force winds within 24 hours. This means that the watch is now a warning. So make sure you've tuned into alerts and evacuation advice. Charge your electronic devices, turn off your utilities, protect your windows, and find a secure place within your home to shelter. Every cyclone is different, but all are dangerous. When it comes to cyclones, we use a category system to rate their intensity. Category one, winds at this speed can damage crops and blow over any unsecured items. Category two, trees are now falling down and homes are suffering structural damage. It's now very dangerous to be outside. The rain is falling sideways and you can't see 50 meters in front of you. Category three, sometimes people say it's just a cat three, but roofs are now being ripped from homes and large debris is flying through the air. The risk of injury is real. Category four, most trees have fallen down. Homes have suffered significant structural damage. Caravans are being destroyed and blown away. Category five, bringing widespread destruction. Almost all the trees have already fallen down. Roofs are failing and walls are collapsing. Remember Cyclone Yazi in 2011? This is just like that. But wind isn't the only impact that cyclones bring. They can also cause storm surge or flash flooding, which can be even more devastating. This is what one meter of water looks like. It's enough to knock me off my feet, it can float cars, and there can be hidden dangers underneath the surface, such as fallen power lines and chemicals that are being carried away by the water. The water is now two meters, which is now above my head and is also above the ground floor of most homes. The water is now three meters high. This is a life threatening situation and there can be dangers hidden beneath the surface of the water. Even as the water begins to recede, it can still take days for the power to turn back on and for shops to reopen. So make sure you're ready with three days of food and supplies Always know your weather, know your risk, make a plan and pack a kit. Stay informed. Register for alerts with www.bom.gov.au and your local council. Or visit www.getready.qld.gov.au.